Exoneration of Stanley Huong Stanley Huong was 24 when a Philadelphia jury said he raped and murdered a night shift nurse. The evidence? A shaky eyewitness and hair under a microscope. He spent the next 38 years in prison, writing appeal after appeal from his cell. In 2025, the Innocence Project reopened the evidence box, a semen-stained swatch, three-person DNA mixture, YSTR sequencing strips Stanley out and reveals a foreign profile. Genealogists trace it to a man who died in a halfway house in 2011. A preserved liver biopsy clinches the match, Stanley, now 62, steps into freedom for the first time since cassette tapes ruled the charts. The district attorney apologizes, certainty without science is just arrogance in a robe. Captain Henry Goodsell Mystery between 1844 and 1890, beachcombers along New Jersey kept finding bones, a skull here, a femur there. Locals called him Scattered Man John Doe. In 2025, forensic anthropologists grind powder from the Petrus bone of his skull. They sequence 850,000 S&Ps and upload them into a genealogy database. The y Hapla group points to Kent, England. Church scribes help confirm the name, Captain Henry Goodsell, master of the schooner Nancy Lee, lost in a nor'easter on December 3, 1844. Descendants in Canada bring letters he wrote days before the wreck, this September. The shoreline ceremony returned a handful of bone to the Atlantic. The plaque reads, he guided ships till the sea guided him home. 181 years in the making. Goodsell becomes the oldest unidentified person ever named by DNA. The lead anthropologist closes the file. Time just lost its perfect alibi.